hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious and if this is your first time of coming around my video please kindly consider subscribing in this video we'll quickly look at the concept of factorial notations which we can also call factorials all right and this is going to be a lead up to the lesson of uh, permutation and combination <clears throat> so what is uh, a factorial now we said that factorial function is defined on positive integers that's positive whole numbers right so we said that if you have any positive whole number n that the factorial or what we call n factorial which is denoted by this is defined like this and what is this that means you multiply the number by itself removing one from it and then removing two removing three until you get to one so an instance is, for example, we want to look for two factorial. That means I'm going to have two multiplying two minus one, which is one. And so I keep going until I get to one. And this is already one. So let's go to something like five factorial. So what is this? That's going to be five multiplying five minus one. Then you multiply again four minus one and then three minus one until you get to one. So that's uh, what we call factorial. So you can also have six factorials is equal to six times five. Okay, so now there are two things we want to you know, remark here. The first one is that the factorial of one is equal to one and the factorial of zero is also equal to one. So let's quickly look at these examples here. It says that we should evaluate the following. So the first one is saying that we should evaluate two factorial multiplied by four factorial. So of course we know that all we need to do here is to expand the two factorial. So the first one will give us two times one. And then the second one is going to give us, um, and of course, if you multiply this, that's two times four, eight times three, 24 times two, that will give us 48 as the solution for this A part. And then what about the B? The B says we should evaluate uh, nine factorial all over six factorial. So what do we do here? All we need to do is just to expand the factorials as well. And that's going to give us nine times eight. All right. And then uh, we also do the same for the denominator, which is uh, six times five. And then we can quickly see that some things below can cancel some things up. This will take away this. Five will take away this. Okay, so at this point, we only have nine times eight times seven, which is going to give us 504. Of course, this is equal to uh, 72. And when you do 72 times seven, that will give you this. Right, so what about the sixth example there? Oh, sorry, the C part. The C part here says we have 8 factorial all over 5 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. So what do we do here? Now, this is very important that we see something here. Now, uh, that we would have actually done here, but let's see it. Now, instead of expanding 8 down to 1, I can actually expand it and end at 5 factorial. Why? Because I have 5 factorial in the denominator. So this is going to give me the same thing as uh, 8 times 7 times 6. Now, at this point, I can leave it as 5 factorial. Of course, you know, 5 factorial will still give me 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 down to 1, which will still complete my 8 factorial. So I have not changed anything here. And so this is all over 5 factorial. So that's the reason why I'm leaving this, because I want to cancel it with this. And this will be times. I can now expand this one to times one and of course from here we can quickly now remove these two and then two here can cancel this to give us four and of course when you multiply the what you have there we are going to get 168 as the solution for this that is four times this is 28 and when you multiply it by six you will get uh, 168 okay so that uh, of course if you do that here what you would have gotten would be 9 times 8 times 7, then times 6 factorial, since we have 6 factorial below. And that would have just cancelled this and save us the time. And we'll still just multiply only this. And that would have still given us this answer. So let's look at the next example. 
uh, what we just saw here, that's this approach, will be very important for us as we go into examples like this. The first one here says we should evaluate n factorial all over this. So what am I going to do? I will simply try to expand n factorial because inside n factorial you will get n minus 2. I will try to expand it and then I will stop where I will get what is in the denominator. Look at what we are saying. So I can say that n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 then times n minus 2. So since my denominator is n minus 2 factorial so I can stop here and that is all over n minus 2 factorial and then immediately this is going to cancel this so my solution is simply n into n minus 1 which is the same thing as uh, I can say n squared minus n if I like and then what about the third example here just the same thing remember that this particular factorial is on the bracket it does not cut across to 2 so that's going to give us 2 into n minus 1 which is the number given and then I'll now keep subtracting 1. So if I remove 1 from here, I'll just have only n. And already my denominator is n. So I'll just stop here. And that is all over n factorial. So what happens here is that this will take away this. And so my solution is 2 into n plus 1, which you can also open like I did here. And then going to the fourth one here, what do we do? The same way so the first thing you always consider is which one is bigger like here now this is actually bigger than this it contains what is it, it can actually be either in the denominator or in the numerator so now every of these example has the bigger one in the numerator so we only expand the numerator in this case so here this is going to give us n squared plus 2 then multiplied by we subtract 1 and if we remove 1 there we're going to have n squared plus 1 and then we subtract 1 again. Remember, this is where we're actually going. So if we remove 1 again here, we'll have n squared. And then if we remove 1 again, we'll have n squared minus 1. And since that now looks like what we have in the denominator, so we'll stop here and put our factorial. And that is all over n squared minus 1 factorial and then n squared plus 2. And of course, if you watch what we have here, there is something that look alike in the numerator and denominator and that is this and this they can go and also you can see there is this and also this and so from here i can easily see that my solution is n squared into n squared plus one and uh, we can stop here or open this bracket to give us uh, n raised to the power of four plus n squared either of the two is also our solution and then looking at the next example what are we going to do there? You can see in this case here that uh, we can expand. Of course, the denominator is also smaller than the numerator. So we can expand the numerator. And that is n plus 2 multiplied by, if you subtract 1 from here, you have plus 1. And you keep going. If you subtract 1, you have only n. Then if you subtract 1 again, n minus 1. If you subtract 1 again, you have n minus 2. And since it's the same as the denominator, so we stop here. And that is all over n minus 2 factorial. And so we can easily now do our usual, uh, cancel the common terms. And so we have n into n plus 2, n plus 1, and then n minus 1. So I just brought this one to the front. That's all. And so, and that's our solution. You can also open up this if you want and uh, you can leave it this way okay and then finally for these examples what do we have here we can uh, see that in this case the numerator is also bigger so i'm going to now expand n times n minus one and my n minus one is already here immediately so i'll stop here and that is all over two into n minus one factorial and so i can take away this and this is going to give me n all over 2 as the solution here. Okay, and so that's what we have in the concept or discussion of uh, factorials and how to evaluate them. And this is where we'll end it for this video. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on our Facebook. Uh, you can reach out to us also on our email and then our Twitter handle also. You can always uh, like, 
and share our videos and comment ask any question you can ask us to do a video on any particular topic we'll see you in our next video bye